latest book, Grand Designs. Stephen Hawking makes the point that in the 21st century, we no longer need a god or philosophy. He also says that there may not be a theory of everything. If you remember, he's been trying for quite a while to develop a theory of everything. And at one point, he saw it on the horizon, but it seems that he now believes that it will never happen. A toe, a theory of everything. Instead, he proposes what he calls model dependent realism. In proposing this idea of model dependent realism, Hawking seems unaware of how similar his new theory is to a philosophy, a sort of radical philosophy really, that dates from the 1980s with the tongue-twisting name perspectivalism. There'll be a link in the low bar to perspectivalism. It is the idea that a theory, a comprehensive single theory of the universe is an impossibility. Hawking insists that instead we should be looking to a process called M-theory. It's a controversial idea which has been criticized for lacking predictive power and for being untestable. Further work continues to find mathematical constructs which join various surrounding theories and these are all placed under the umbrella of M-theory. And it's true that the intrinsic mathematics of these systems sometimes does overlap. Uh, but these lead to controversial new but empirically unfounded proposals that find analogies for theoretical situations that may or may not exist. Hawking doesn't give enough attention to the fact that the tangible success of M-theory can be questioned given its current incompleteness and limited predictive power, even after so many years of intense research. Long story short, Hawking rightly claims that the old ideas that we face a dilemma of either God or secular ph philosophy is certainly a valid objection. But his equally unfounded contention that there are M theories or obscure theories of multiverses seems equally shaky. We need to follow the science of cosmology to its end and not be waylaid or overawed by mathematical coincidences.